Okay, everyone, welcome to another video with me, Teacher Alex, here at Alex Worldwide. So today, what we're going to be doing is looking at some popular movies, some popular TV shows, and identifying some idioms or some natural phrases that we can use. Sometimes the actor makes some mistakes, so we can pick up on this too. But without further ado, let's get started. So sometimes people are going to use idioms and phrases and they don't quite make sense and it can make you look a bit silly. So let's watch a clip. There's going to be two examples of idioms that are used. One is correct. The second is not correct. Let's watch. Can I have more of your time, please? I need you to do something for me. Yes, anything. I want you to dig up some dirt on Josh, find out if there are any skeletons in his attic. I'll talk to my buddy down at the station. First one, I need you to dig up some dirt. And the second one, see if there's any skeletons in his attic. Which one is incorrect? What do you think? The second one. Yeah, you should not say skeletons in the attic. The correct phrase is skeletons in the closet. What does this one mean? Well, we'll come back to that one in a second. Let's first of all look at that first idiom that was used. Dig up some dirt. Now, this phrase means to do some research and find out some embarrassing or negative information about someone. So if you dig up some dirt on someone, it means you're looking for some bad gossip or information about them. The second one here that we talked about, skeletons in your closet, means secrets or negative things from your past that you're trying to hide from other people. So if you have skeletons in your closet, it means something that you're embarrassed about has happened to you in the past. Let's look at a couple more examples of idioms and phrases from TV shows. Let's look at another example now of when one person uses an idiom and the other person doesn't quite understand and makes a problem for themselves. Let's take a look. Hi guys. Oh, hey. I need some guinea pigs. Oh, I'll Okay, there's a lab animal supply company in Reseda we could try. But if your research is going to have human applications, may I suggest... Do you think Penny really meant that she needed some guinea pigs, like the animals? No, that's not what she meant. But that's what Sheldon thought she meant. He took it literally, when actually she was using an idiom. So if you say, I need some guinea pigs... What that means is I need some people to try my ideas out on. I think this comes from, you know, when there's animal testing on animals, which is not great. But the idiom still stands. So if you say, oh, I need you to be my guinea pig, that means I need to test something on you. In this circumstance, Penny started a new job where she was going to be a bartender. So she needed to practice making drinks for people. So she wanted the boys to be her guinea pigs. She wanted to practice on them. Does that make sense? How else could you use this phrase? Now we're introduced to another expression. Tell me if you've heard this one before. <laughs> it's never gonna happen. What does that mean, friend zone? Is this a phrase that you've heard before? Let's talk about it. Okay, so the literal definition of the friend zone is the state of being friends with someone who you would rather have a romantic relationship with, but the other person just views you as a friend and doesn't view you in that romantic way. It's become a really, really common English phrase in popular culture. So let me know again in the comments any ways that you could use this phrase in your natural English. 
So let's just look at one more example of an idiomatic expression from a TV show or a movie. Right, so now we're going to look at one of my favourite TV shows, The Crown. Now, this is actually a really good show to watch for picking up on expressions and phrases on the British accent and kind of improving your listening and kind of speaking skills because you can pick up some new phrases. So make sure you check it out. But let's listen to this idiom. This is Queen Elizabeth. I hope this brand new vessel, like your brand new queen, will prove to be dependable constant, capable of weathering any storm. Weathering any storm. What does that mean? So this phrase, to weather any storm, basically means that you can succeed in reaching the end of a period of turbulence or a difficult period of time. So you've gone through a storm, you've gone through a difficult time, and you've managed to weather it. You've managed to survive it. So here, Queen Elizabeth is saying that she hopes that she will be able to weather any storm that comes in her future. Again, another phrase that you can use in your speaking with your English. So I hope all of these phrases have been interesting and of use to you. Make sure you take a note of them and just try your best to practice using them in your English. That is the key thing. Put yourself out there. Try and use it. You will make mistakes, but that is okay. Push yourself, use these new phrases, use these new idioms, and your English level will improve. So to continue with this exercise, doing it yourself, find a TV show that you like and watch it. But as you watch it, when you hear and listen to these phrases that seem new, find out what they mean, find out how you can use them, take a record of them, and practice. Okay, can't wait to see you in our next class.